When everything is getting to be too much, and I feel like I need to escape the entire world and everyone in it, I go camping. And now, the world seems more chaotic than ever, but I never felt like I was rugged enough to go camping in the middle of January. Until now. Until now, I was satisfied with just watching other people on YouTube do these things and thinking they were living more adventurous lives than me. But after giving it some thought and running out of videos to watch, uh, I figured, why not me? Why not just try it? So I'm trying to prepare myself as best as I can. which means warm clothes, planning ahead, and adequate gear. There are three things that I want to try and do while I'm out there, and that is go for a nice hike, cook over the fire, and spend some time reading. Oh, and like try not to freeze to death. I think those are some pretty realistic goals. I just fell off the tent platform. I was too concentrated on hooking these little things in. That took a lot longer than expected, but I did it. Now, it's the important stuff. So tired. All the effort it took to clear out the platform for the tent and bring the stuff up here. Now it's dark. Uh, I I am hungry and I do want to cook and eat, but like I'm so tired. Okay, the fire is is actually really going now, so I'm like a little bit more motivated to cook. My dad got me this really nice little camping like cook set, uh, so I'm excited for that. Um, and most of my stuff I've kind of pre-prepared, but uh, we'll dig in there and see what we got. I forgot I made this garlic bread at home, hell yeah. See how that goes. <laughs> Garlic bread. Okay. 
Looks good to me. So in the interest of not freezing to death, this is kind of what I have going on with all of my sleeping arrangements. So my sleeping bag is rated to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, so that should be totally sufficient. Um, and I also have a sloth blanket because I just, you know, I couldn't leave home without it. So it's only like seven o'clock, um, but I think I'm, I think I'm done. Uh, I'm gonna call it a night and uh, hopefully, you know, stay relatively warm. So it seems like it snowed the tiniest bit last night. Um, I think it's still snowing like a teensy bit now too, still, but, um, but I lived, so there's that. So just to be clear, this setup isn't exactly what I had in mind when I first thought about going winter camping. Instead of a more off-grid, isolated spot in the middle of the woods, I'm at one of the few campgrounds open during winter here in the Northeast. So I'm not like one of those people who are bushwhacking under a tarp on public land. Um, I do not think I'm ready for that yet, um, but regardless, it's still pretty quiet here. So in the interest of reaching all of my goals, I've decided to go on the tiniest little hike before I leave, and it's pretty nice. Though a lot harder than if the ground was just flat and not covered with snow. All right, well, my battery is dying and it's almost time to go. So I'm gonna pack up as fast as I can and uh, say goodbye. I had this idea that I wasn't the right kind of person to even try this sort of thing. But as I shivered my ass off in that tent, I realized that trying is how you become that person. So I'll keep trying it again. And maybe next time you see me, I'll be somewhere more rugged and isolated, like in the videos I watch on YouTube. But for now, I'm happy to have tried something new and I'm totally content to just come home, 
get into a warm bed, and enjoy those things through a screen.